All right, guys, welcome back to Beautiful Mind today. I'm Roland Attenborough. I'm your host, and thank you very much for having me as a guest today. Today, we're going to be discussing Bitcoin on the hourly chart. And uh, yesterday, on our tutorials, I was uh, watching for this top here inside this channel. And as you guys know, we have been watching this really closely because as you know we have a rollover coming here and we were pressing up against a couple of angles here and we had a breakthrough of this angle here but we have subsequently had a rejection again where remember we were talking about our uh, channels and the underbellies so right now we're we're challenging the inside and middle of this underbelly and the breakaway point from this rally moving down so subsequently, we're looking for more strength to, you know, step in here because uh, we're at a point on this angle here and there's a reason why I draw these angles on here. We're looking for the strength and the weakness to resume. Now we've had sort of a failed breakout here and we're sort of sitting we're at a we're at a crossroads in a line in the sand right here so if we get tiptoeing down it's going to be down to this area here onto this angle failing to break or gain support here on this angle on this part of this channel here would mean great weakness and we would be moving again back down we'd be retesting the tops and bottoms of this part of the channel and sitting on this angle right here that I have so looking at that now the rollover it may occur and continue down so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our angles from where I had placed them yesterday and we're just gonna re readjust them and then we're gonna see what kind of strength and weakness we're about to uh, experience here with those so let's go ahead and uh, let's make sure they're the correct angle for us we're looking for 45 this should be 67 let's just bring that out a little bit all right so now we're going to now zoom in a bit now that we've set our two main angles on there which is our 45 and our uh, 1 times 2 angle. And as you guys can see now, we are starting to wrestle with uh, the energy of this angle here. So this, this point here, we were speaking about where Mars is exactly at the point it was three and a half years ago and it was exactly at this price level and it had the exact price swings from uh well it stayed around 58 but it made it up to about 60.8 i don't really feel we can make it quite to there but it's possible and likely in this given market here that we can make it easily up to this and then have uh this tumultuous uh rollover now that doesn't mean we have to come back to 49 and 44 like i'm saying we have some strong you know trend lines right here like these two that cross right here i mean there's a lot of crossing of lines here at 58 so there's a lot of support here and uh, and as you guys know sorry i had that in the way you know that that represents right here on the square you know, it's a, it's a 45 degree angle right here. So that is pretty significant. And we have a lot of price action here. So falling down to this would not surprise me the least bit. I'm, you know, at the best of times, I'm a bad news bears. And disclaimer aside on that, you know, until we break above 72,000, um, we're still in the second section of this market and uh, we'll be moving sideways and trending downward until accumulation and distribution 
has been completed and that will not occur until the end of July and into August. And from there we're going to have some very, very explosive movements and I expect that uh, we could end this cycle off somewhere around September and then restart another short cycle to the end of November or the beginning of November. So expect that. You know, we usually have these these moves that uh, catch us off guard, right? We wait 62 days and then you get tired and then uh, it turns around. So speaking about all this, we're watching for this break now and uh, this angle is holding us right now so a major break of this angle would bring us down and like I said we would be moving down and retesting the top and the bottom section of this area of the chart at 58.3 and 58.6 so be prepared for that that's uh, that's the next major swing and just because I'm stating that uh, we're about to maybe have a tumultuous fall off, <clears throat> excuse me, we could in fact come back up and uh, retest some higher levels before being uh, further rejected. And uh, you know, this 61 level right here, this fall, this this whole quadrant right here falls in line with what happened three and a half years ago, and I'm watching it really closely. So and. Uh, I'm watching for a buy, you know, if we come down to uh, 49 and 44, you know, I'll be, I'll be watching the price action to pick up, but not necessarily, and it will have to show some strength. But I will definitely be buying when we break above 73,000 and or sit on it, not do a headbutt, that will be another major load up. You betcha. Okay, so we've sort of spoke about uh, what we can see happening here. We've been uh, discussing, you know, channels and what happens to us when we get up inside these channels and uh, looking at some of the stuff that occurs here inside them. We do get these uh, rejections and then we do get a retest. This is a rising, right? This is rising and it's eerily close to our angle here so we're just going to uh, monitor this and it's more likely it's within this within this peak here if we took this angle here and uh, let's just do that you know we just copy this angle and we can just see now what what else we can see for a topping pattern or period and uh, and if it's equal to right, we're looking for we're looking for a vi so this is a sine wave, right? Up, down, you know, sine wave, down, up, what? Down. Okay, so it's possible we could have a retesting. We've been talking about this right back to here. Breaking fifty eight is a really terrible and weak sign and we would be moving down rapidly and we would be not just stopping and bouncing off of these if we were to catch a major fall here it's very possible and likely we could uh, move down to this 49 it's we have these very strong trend lines here guys you know you've been watching my my 45 degree angles and if you've been paying attention to any of that you'll know that right you can watch the strength and weakness appear and disappear based upon what it's doing when it comes up and head butts these overhead resistance angles okay so watch out for this we're just about we're just about to have a big humpty dumpty I'm not kidding, so we can come right back up here. We can easily retest any of this stuff. Like, right in here, I mean, we could easily come into this. But a rejection from here would spell disaster. We'd be back down to here 
instantly and down to here and failing to get support on these areas here we would be moving down again rapidly and puncturing through our old bottom here and moving to this trend line here failing to stay above this area here and losing traction that's right it's 49 guys and uh, we'd be moving down to 44 right we've been talking about this so we've moved down to 53 already our next move back on the right these are these are our octaves of the year we'll be moving back to 49 and if 49 does not hold if we lose this this is a strong angle right here and another very strong one right here so failing to hold this 49 which I think we have a really good chance at holding this 49 I really do I think that this I just feel that uh, even though we have a lot of wide swings that may occur here it just seems that um, yeah you know we, this this is 180 degrees from our old bottom and our old tops here right in here so you know sitting on this area and holding this this area is really important if we lose this it's just it's down right we'll be right back down could be right back down to 38 again so that in mind which I don't feel will happen but I do feel we will be retesting again you know it's this 50 area yeah it's uh, it's a psychological area right uh, human emotions are you know we like to trade on equal amounts 25 50 75 100 it's just that we as humans we like to look at things and find some side some kind of a sequence like it has to be equal to you know our, our eye is always looking for a mistake so here we can see that if we don't get above this this will be a mistake here and we'll be moving back down so you guys just pay attention to that the market is uh, very volatile right now and uh, they've been looking for your stops and like I said if we uh, if we don't get above this strong angle here then uh, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be back down here they're gonna be looking for your stops and they'll be finding them so be vigilant you guys just uh, make sure your stops are uh, far enough away that they don't get hit and that you could uh, that you could handle that type of uh, reaction all right guys uh, peace and love I'm gonna do some more stuff for you we have our summer sale giveaway right now it's 50% uh, off on our uh, online course and also our natural square and it is a perfect gift for anyone who is looking to establish a base in forecasting and being able to find the po points in time and price where you can expect a change in trend the same way that I'm doing it so hit me up peace and love guys hope you have a Great weekend.